The revolution is here, the new non-API version of AutoDS just released and in this version you don't need to keep your computer on for price and stock updating or for uploading products. Short intro and we are starting, I will explain you exactly for what you need or don't need the AutoDS's Chrome extension for the non-API version and how to work without the extension. Hello everybody, in this video I will show you something that I'm super excited about because we found in AutoDS a method how to work without an API but for price and stock monitoring or for uploading products you will not need in this method to have your computer on. This is the biggest problem with the non-API that you always had to keep your computer on and now with the new version you will need to keep your computer on only for orders grabbing from eBay or for untracked listings. But for price and stock monitoring or for products uploading, you will not need to do that, even not for the finder. So let's see how to do that. So when you register to AutoDS, you will get this page or if you add a new store, so you can go to the add eBay account here and click uh, the add a non-API store. So in both cases, you need to click on the add non-API store you will uh, be forwarded to this page. Here you put your store name as we always had for the non-API version and the PayPal email address to get payments on eBay. If you use the managed payments, so it doesn't matter and just put here your regular PayPal account, but uh, this is the recommendation. Here is the regular configuration. I will not go into it right now and I will click submit. Now, this is the important page. Here comes the difference. Let's see what's going on. So we have the regular download Chrome extension button that we anyway need to do. So I will click the download extension and I will add the non-API extension to my browser. Now this extension will be relevant only for cases where you actually working without the uh, file exchange token that I will show you now with the basically the old non-API version or for cases when you just want to uh, take your orders, grab your orders from eBay or to grab your untracked listings. For cases like monitoring or products uploading, you will not need it, but it's still highly recommended so you will see your orders inside AutoDS, process them automatically and everything. By the way, for full explanation about the non-API, you can click below this video, we will have it in the description. So, after you click the download Chrome extension, it will take you to the last step here. So just go back here if it uh, does this. So click here. And then here we'll have the file exchange token recommended. What is this? The file exchange token is something that eBay can give you. This is like API of AutoDS, but it's not API. It's not related to any software. Basically, it's just a code from eBay that you can put here. And then the price and stock monitoring and also files uploading will be done automatically. So I will click on the get token. It will forward me to eBay. I will click sign in. Agree. As you can see here, no mention to AutoDS at all. So eBay doesn't know that any dropshipping software is working with your account. Copy this token and put it here. After that, what I do, I click submit. Now something awesome will happen. I can go and I can do everything same as I did with the non-API, but even without the extension, I don't need to keep my computer on now for price and stock monitoring or anything like that. Now, another thing that you need to do to uh, actually get your orders updated is to keep your computer on or just when you open your browser, they will be synced automatically. But how to do that? You still need to configure the extension. So what I do, I go to the settings. I'll take here the token, put it on the non-API extension. Here you can put any email address, it doesn't really matter. And save settings. Now what happens is that you will see here that this extension is completely different than the old one because you will see only two, op two options here, the untracked monitor and orders monitor. Why? Because the uploader and the price and stock monitoring are working even without any extension, which is amazing. Now, if you want to go back to the regular version or switch from the uh, old non-API version without the file exchange token to the new one, what you need to do is to click here on the settings on the extension 
And then what you need to do here is to turn on or off the file exchange integration type. So if you turn it on, it will ask you for a token, and if, if, which is the token that we just put be, uh, before. And if you turn it off, so if I click now update, you can see here the old extension here with all of the options. Now, it's highly recommended to work with the new method, which is much better using the file exchange token. And I'm super excited to see your success after that and how we save you time. And basically, we will save you the struggling with open computer all the day. So I hope that these uh, news are exciting for you, same as they are exciting for me. I'm waiting to see you in the next videos. For any question, please ask in the comments below this video, like this video, share it with other dropshippers who work with the non-API version so they can also get benefit of it. And see you in the next videos. Subscribe to this YouTube, YouTube channel. Bye-bye.